creating YouTube. Today I'm looking at a belt knife that is... I don't know what to call it. It's, I think it's aimed at, like, utility or reenactors. But we're going to look at the sheath first. It is very well made. This is a very quality knife for something that came out of China. Uh, it's got a little bit of uh, accent markings here. Uh, maybe that had been done by someone else after they purchased it. I'm not sure, but it's really nice quality. It really is. Um, it says stamp like China or something right there. Take the knife out. And this is what we got. Now it's in rough shape. I freely admit this. It's got bluing on it. The edge has not been well maintained. It's not sharp at all. Um, but I really like the overall shape because it reminded me of some designs that a friend of mine made uh, many years ago. And this kind of made me think of a patch knife or uh, an eating knife. Um, it's full tang, which is nice. It has scales here. I don't know what the scales are made of. I really don't know. I can't tell if they're they're. They think they might be kind of horns. They have kind of a. It looks like they spalled here slightly. So I'm not 100 percent sure what these things are. Um, it's again, it's uh, it's in kind of rough shape, but the feeling of this it's very comfortable and like this for like food prep and stuff that just feels really nice the handle's a little short for my taste just barely four fingers and if you hold it like this it just seems that feels like it disappears a bit on your hand but not too bad um even though it's in you know it's not perfect the fit and finish is pretty decent i like the i really like the shape um gonna have to work on that edge uh but it it just it looks like a knife that that was could have been made by a friend of mine from when I was very active in the SCA. I haven't been active in the SCA whoops, in, in a very long time. Um, but it's uh, it has that utility knife vibe to it. Or get a patch knife, a, a, even maybe a bushcraft knife if you could get it to hold a decent edge. This could be carbon steel, particularly from the rust on it. Even with the bluing on it, it could be carbon steel. Um, I haven't done anything to it. I just kind of purchased it and brought it home. Um, but I like the I like the heft to it. I like the overall feel. The balance is where is the balance on this thing? Yeah, so it's the handle is pretty heavy. But that's a pretty substantial uh, blade in the handle, so it 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 kind of feels ch -ch 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 -ch, in a food prep like that. A very comfortable overall um, sensation. So I don't know what this was originally called. Um, maybe it has a particular culture. Um, well, it, well, well, it was made in China. Maybe it's aimed at a particular culture. You know, they're, they're trying to emulate a particular um, ethnic design. If anybody out there knows about what this could be, or if they had personal experience with a knife like this, with that kind of a uh, integral blade guard um, situation, um, please tell me. I would love to know. I think it's a nice design. I think it could be fixed up and, and it would be, be a, a functional knife, particularly for reenactors. Uh, either you're doing the Middle Ages or you're doing Mountain Man or Revolutionary or even into the uh, Civil War, this is a belt knife's a belt knife and this would be a functional knife and it would fit right in to any of these types of uh, reenactment. I think this would be a really um, a good general purpose blade to carry with you. So tell me if you know if you folks know what this thing is, because I sure don't. I'm just going to call it a belt knife, I guess. Um, it's a Chinese belt knife. I don't know what else to call it. Um, so if you people know more about this than I do, tell me.